and a half million people in the UK. Well, our correspondent Nick Hyam is at the Blue Coat Centre in Liverpool for us this afternoon. Nick, over to you. Yes, indeed. It's the last day here of Dada Fest. That's the annual festival of art by deaf and disabled artists of all kinds. And a uh, regular performer here at Dada Fest, you can see standing over there, is Diva Hollywood. She's a burlesque dancer, glamorous, and you can tell important too, because she's brought her own documentary film crew from Liverpool John Moores University, who are making a film about her. Um, Diva, we've been talking about invisible disability. Now, you have a disability, but it's not invisible. Tell us about it. Not visible. Tell us. Um, yeah, I was diagnosed with uh, MS in 2006 and it has been invisible this year, but last year I was using a walking stick for quite a lot of the year. And do you perform with a walking stick? I've not performed yet with a walking stick. Um, I've used the stick off stage and then gone on and done my act and then had to grab it again quite quickly. Now, on your arm you have um, this black swan, um, who I gather sometimes plays a part in uh, the act. Tell us about him. Well, the Black Swan Act, well, this is Bert, and uh, he was, he's part of my Black Swan Act, which is inspired by me having MS, and the, the feeling of having a dark spectre in your life, and um, on stage he comes up through my feathers, and he attacks me, and on all the places where I've been attacked um, with MS, in my eye, and my leg, and my arm. Um, but I also wanted to have a symbol that was about strength and beauty and in mythology the black swan is about that. Um, but I also wanted something that would bring fear into the audience because um, people are scared about MS and they're scared about ha um, getting MS and um, he does go out and he does attack the audience because it can happen to anyone. I, you know, I was really taken surprise in 2006 when things started to happen, so I, I really wanted to do that in my act. Now, Dada Fest is a showcase for work by disabled artists of all kinds. There are two ways of looking at that. One, you can say it's a celebration. It brings in people from all over the community to see what these artists can do. The other way of looking at it is to say it's a bit of a ghetto. Um, well, we don't just have disabled artists in Dada Lesk. It has opened up in the last five years. So we have had performers like Julie Atlas Muse from New York and Joe Weldon from New York this year. Um, and Julie's performed with us a few times. Um, because we didn't want to ghettoize it. Because within the burlesque community, yes, there are a lot of performers who have uh, disabilities. Some are visual, some aren't. But we didn't want to just showcase that. We wanted to make sure that it was open to everyone, as burlesque is open to everyone, of all ages, disabilities shapes, sizes, male or female. Dadalesque being the burlesque subdivision, as it were, of Dadaverse, yes. generally. <laughs> um, for you, personally, what does it mean to have a disability that is not, and am I about to be attacked by your swan, what does it mean for you, personally, to have a, a disability that is not immediately evident? Um, for me, I like to have the ability to um, talk about having my disability. I'm, even though I'm an invisible, I'm not, I don't hide it. I've done interviews, I've done uh, interviews on TV and, and with magazines. And I think it brings, I get so many emails from fellow performers, from um, people from the audience who maybe a mother, a father, an uncle has MS. And it gives them strength to know that there are people out there who've got the same disability as one of their relatives but who's still going out there and not being ashamed of being disabled, of being able to go out there and perform and to express themselves artistically. OK, Diva Hollywood, thank you very much indeed. And Dada Fest ends this evening with... And I am being attacked. I am being attacked. Uh, Dada Fest ends this evening with a spectacular video production uh, in St George's Dock. But uh, for now, from Liverpool, back to you in the studio. Nick, thank you. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Well,